Reincarnation. Is it a hoax or is it real? Nobody knows. But it has been studied and researched upon by many. The whole idea of life after death has captured the fascination of us all. Shanti Devi was an Indian woman who claimed to remember her past life and also became a subject to reincarnation research. Shanti Devi was born in India. As a little girl in the 1930s, she began to claim to remember the details of her past life. According to these accounts, when she was about four years old, she told her parents that her real home was Mathura, a town where her husband lived, about 145 kilometers away from Delhi. Discouraged by her parents, she ran away from home at the age of six, trying to reach Mathura. Back home, she stated in school that she was married and had died 10 years after having given birth to her first child, after being interviewed by her teacher and headmaster. She spoke in the Mathura dialect, and also revealed the name of her husband from her past life, Kedarnat. And these claims turned out to be true, as Kedarnat was a real person who lived in Mathura and had a wife called Lyugri Devi, who died nine years earlier. Kedarnat then traveled to Delhi, pretending to be his own brother. But Shanti Devi immediately recognized that he is trying to pretend to be somebody else, and in fact is Kedarnat himself. And she also recognized her son from the past life. She knew several details of Kedarnath's life and his wife. He was soon convinced that Shanti Devi was indeed the reincarnation of Lugri, his wife. This case was later brought to the attention of Gandhi, who set up a commission to investigate this whole issue. This commission traveled to Shanti Devi with Mathura. Upon reaching, she recognized several family members from her past life from her apparent past life. She also said that Kedarnath neglected to keep the number of promises he had made to her in the past life as Lugri Devi when she was in her deathbed. The commission's report published in 1936 concluded that Shanti Devi was indeed the reincarnation of Lugri Devi. Shanti Devi did not end up marrying anybody. She told her story again at the end of 1950s and once more in 1986 when she was interviewed by Ian Stevenson. In this interview, she talked about her near-death experiences as Lugri Devi when she was dying. Life is and will remain a mystery to us all, but every now and then we are presented with stories that help us identify life itself. Legitimate or not, Shanti Devi's story is still spine-chilling.